Well, you know, what a lot of people don't understand is that when you have a test, that's really the only way you can have a testimony and see God's faithfulness. You will never forget God's faithfulness with you through this test. And at the end of it, I said to you earlier, worship is even sweeter. Why is that? It's, it's crazy. Being a songwriter too, I write all these lyrics in the song. And up until this point, I, some of the lyrics uh, didn't relate to me as much, but I knew there was people in our congregation going through these, these kind of issues. And so I, I like to write these declarations of faith so it gives these people something to sing. But for the first time, I found myself... Um, in, in a place where I needed these statements more than ever before. And, and that song we just heard is a song called Only Way, which was like an anthem God gave me two weeks before I even found out I had cancer. I wrote that song and the words say, you are, G you are the way, you're the only way. It doesn't matter what people say to me, I believe in you. And so that was a powerful declaration for this circumstance. How did you feel? I mean, because I know there may be some of you struggling right now, but there is something really powerful about worshiping and praising God in the midst of the storm. You know, you had a good report, but you were still in pain. You had just had surgery, and yet you got up there and worshiped. It was a sacrifice of praise. It was. There is something so powerful about that. Would you encourage maybe, Joth, people that are watching right now that are in the middle of a storm and they don't want to praise, they don't want to worship, yet in doing that, there's power in that. Mm. There's restoration and healing that will even accelerate as you do those things. Exactly, and, and the most inspiring scripture that I always draw upon is Paul and Silas when they're in the jail. You know, they're in the most terrible circumstance possible, yet they still make a choice to praise and, and give God glory no matter what. And because they'd made that choice, breakthrough came to them and also other people involved with the situation too. Um, so it's yes, it's hard, um, but you just got to keep trusting God. You've got to keep your faith in God um, and keep relying on him. He will bring a breakthrough. That's who he is.